Peace and blessings. Welcome back to the channel once again, where we talk all things health and healing from a holistic perspective, and today will be no different. Today, we're going to talk about the foods that are destroying your brain and lowering your IQ. Not only yours, but your children and your future grandchildren's as well, too. We're noticing a trend that IQ levels are through the floor. They're not going up. We're also noticing that both children and adults are suffering with issues with the ability to focus, having to take these ADHD and ADD medications. We're also noticing that there's a huge shift upwards of people with headache, people with memory issues, people with brain fog. And as a matter of fact, I was looking at a statistic and there's about 55 million people worldwide with dementia. And they're expecting that number to increase by 40 to 50 percent, especially here in America, in the next 16 years, which is 2040. OK, now keep that in mind, increasing by 20 to 40 percent in the next 16 years. That means that we're heavily trending in the wrong direction. That means that we're doing something grossly wrong. OK, and there's always these signs and symptoms that we overlook, like that headache that loss in memory, short-term memory, you know, the, the brain fog. These are things that are like canaries in a coal mine telling you that something is wrong, that you're headed towards that direction. And so today we're going to talk about those foods that are heavily impacting not only our IQ, but our overall brain health is literally killing brain cells every day. Okay. And as I always say to people, it's important for us to understand if it's killing our brains, it's killing our bodies. Hugely, our brains are even more protected than our, our bodies. We have what's called a brain, a brain blood barrier that prevents many things from crossing over into the brain because the brain needs to be that protected. So if this is killing the brain, you know, it's killing the body. So it's hugely important to understand that as I go through this list of nine foods that are killing your health, it's important that you, you make some real life decisions after this conversation is over. And the reason why that is important is because knowledge isn't power. All of this free content that I'm giving you here on YouTube, that's not power. It's the application of knowledge is what makes you powerful. So those people who apply the knowledge, those are the people who are wise and those are the people who are powerful in their own individual rights. Become powerful in your own life, okay? Apply the knowledge. Just don't, don't show up here, watch the video and say, that was a good video. Don't give me a thumbs up in the comment. Say, say to yourself, I'm going to apply this because I deserve this, okay? And follow through with it, all right? So let's get into it. This is going to be a long video today. I'm, kind of, I'm going to try to get through each of these nine very quickly because when I list most of them, a lot of them are going to be no brainers, no pun intended. OK, so number one, sodas and energy drinks, sodas and energy drinks, energy drinks don't only increase your heart rate, but most of them have a lot of the ingredients in them that are all actually neurotoxins too, that are toxins to the nervous system and the brain. Okay. So it's hugely important that we start to shift, shift away from these unnatural liquids, these unnatural beverages. I'm seeing people who have heart attacks every day from these energy drinks. But what people don't know is that it's also affecting the mind because people are wanting to, you know, drink these drinks to, to be able to get focused. But what they don't know is that they're ruining their brain health in the process. So number one, sodas and energy drinks. Sodas because of the sugar, which we'll talk about in a second, okay? Number two, fried foods. Yep, fried foods. Most of you probably don't realize, or you probably do realize that most restaurants use the same oil over and over again. And not only do they use the same oil over and over again, but that oil is mo in most cases seed oil because that's the cheapest oil that you can buy. And most restaurant owners in the beginning will try to use a healthier form of oil, but what they'll notice is how expensive it is to keep up with that because we live in nations where people love everything fried. 
Pe people love everything cooked in oil, okay? And as a result of that, they reuse it and they overuse it. And every time you use an oil, you put it under heat, you're making that oil more and more toxic. It's increasing the amount of omega-6s, which are pro-inflammatory. Inflammatory not only to the body, but also inflammatory to the brain as well too. So fried foods, next time you're sitting down to eat or you're about to order from the menu or you're deciding what to eat for dinner, lunch, or breakfast, make sure you keep in mind how often you're choosing something that is cooked in oils. Okay, hugely important. Number three, and I know that this one is, for a lot of people, it's gonna be like this confusing conversation because quite often we've been told that, oh, one of these a day is actually good for your heart health. But come to find out, the studies have proven that that is absolutely not true. And that is alcohol. There's no amount of alcohol that is actually healthy for you. Alcohol is a toxin. It is not only a toxin to the liver, but it's a toxin to the body and it's definitely a toxin to the brain. And you don't need a study to confirm that. We know that if you drink enough, you get tipsy. Now that's a nice name <laughs> for neurotoxicity, okay? Because what alcohol does is it decreases the amount of blood flow to the cerebellum. Okay, which is responsible for your coordination. Okay, but it also, the more and more you drink, what you'll notice is, is that your entire body will start to reek of alcohol. And the more and more you drink, you'll get to a point where your body just literally passes out. Okay, so it doesn't matter if you drink to the point that you pass out or you have one drink a day. The new studies have proven any amount of alcohol is toxic to the body and especially the brain, okay? That tipsy feeling that you're, you're feeling, those inhibitions that go away, those are, those are signs that the alcohol is impacting the brain and has crossed over that blood-brain barrier that is there to filter things out that shouldn't be coming in, but alcohol gets through, okay? So alcohol is definitely one of the things that not only destroys your brain and lowers your IQ, but it actually shrinks the size of your brain. And when it comes to brain health, size does matter, all right? Number four, artificial sugars, all right? So when you're getting your Coke Zero or whatever Zero, whatever says Zero or no calorie drink, but you notice that it still tastes sweet, it's because they've used the artificial sugar like aspartame. Now, what's important to know about these artificial sugars is that all of them are neurotoxins. They are toxins to the brain and the nervous system. Okay, so despite the fact that you think that you're not getting calories, there still is a rebound loop where it's actually increasing insulin. Okay, and I'll talk a little bit about this a little bit later. But as you increase insulin, in the body, you also are increasing insulin in the brain as well, too. We'll talk about that a little bit later. But these artificial sugars that you're getting in energy drinks, that you're getting in your Coke Zero or whatever Zero or no calorie drink, or even these cool gym drinks that they're telling you has zero calories, etc. They are an actual neurotoxin. They're not only destroying your brain, but they're destroying your metabolism as well, too. All right, number five, trans fats, okay, trans fats. And there was a time ago that trans fats were banned in the U.S. And they definitely are banned in other countries, but they still are in our food supply here in the U.S. Despite that, they're in vegetable oil, oils, they're in processed foods, especially. They're in baked goods, they're in crackers, they're in donuts, these trans fats are very toxic to the body, they're toxic to the blood vessels, and they're toxic to the brain. Okay, so trans fat, another food that you're going to find, again, those same oils that I was talking about earlier that are constantly reheated heated over and over and over, they're making them more and more toxic. Okay, number six, refined carbohydrates and white flour. Okay, refined carbohydrates 
and white flour. Refined carbohydrates are essentially just sugar. And what you'll notice is when I say refined carbohydrates, I'm talking about breads, pastas, pizza, you know, uh, white fl any kind of white flour products. All of those things have been refined, which means that it's been highly and ultra processed. That means that all of the fiber, all of the minerals have been ripped out of it. That's why when you read a lot of them, they will say enhance or enrich with these vitamins. Okay. Because all of them have been ripped out. All of the natural vitamins and minerals and fiber have been ripped out of it. And they're putting unnatural vitamins and mineral back into it. Okay. That your body won't recognize, won't utilize, won't break down. <laughs> and so despite that they're putting them in there, you're still going to be deficient. Okay. And the worst thing about these things is, is that they're going to elevate your blood sugar and ultimately elevate your insulin, which gets me to number six, while I'll tie this all together with the things that I mentioned, added sugars. In nature, there's no such thing as sugar unless it's inside of a whole fruit or vegetable, okay? That's the only place sugar exists. There's no sugar tree, there's no sugar bush, none of that. So when I say added sugar, I'm talking about sugar that you do not consume in a whole fruit or vegetable, okay? That's added sugar. That sugar will less will decrease your lifespan, but not only will it decrease your lifespan, it will lead to brain damage and ultimately lead to dementia. As a matter of fact, the new name for dementia is type 3 diabetes. Look it up. Type 3 diabetes. The reason why they call it type 3 diabetes because it's insulin resistance in the brain. So you got insulin resistance in the body. We call that type 1 diabetes. Insulin resistance in the brain, we call that type 3 diabetes. Okay? And it becomes insulin resistant because of all this toxicity, of all the things that I mentioned before, but also because the levels are extremely high because we eat so many refined carbohydrates, number six, so many added sugars, number seven, so many artificial sugars, number four, okay? And so many sodas and energy drinks, number one. Okay, you put all those things together along with number nine that I'll talk about in a second, and it'll help you understand why we're constantly walking around with elevated blood sugar levels and elevated insulin levels in the body as well, too. And although insulin is a natural hormone produced by the pancreas, you got to understand when things are overproduced, they're produced in excess, they become toxic and very dangerous to the body. Okay, hugely important. Type 3 diabetes, that's the code name for dementia, all right? So that's number seven. Number eight, heavy metals, heavy metals, heavy metals like mercury, lead, arsenic, uh, cadmium. These heavy metals that quite often with mercury, you'll find them in fish, a lot of the fish. You'll find them in your dental fillings. If you got dental fillings a while ago, or you got a dentist who just isn't updated on um, a lot of the new literature around um, these mercury fillings. And so as a result, getting all this mercury, these heavy metals into our diets that are all, not only there, but also in the food supply too. Because a lot of these companies, especially these companies that are producing these processed foods, these unnatural GM, GMO foods, a lot of was running off into the water, into the soil, is heavy metals when you're not getting your food from an organic natural source. So it's also ending up in the food supply as well. So once your levels of heavy metals become elevated, it will damage your brain, lower your IQ, lead to all those symptoms that most people pacify. You know, a little bit of loss in short-term memory, a little bit of brain fog, a little bit of less, less focus, okay? Uh, headaches here and there. These are things that are, when people experience them, they take them for granted and say to themselves, well, you know, I'm getting a little older. But the real the real problem is, is that every day you're giving yourself doses. 
that is literally killing brain cells every time. And number nine, the final, the number of completion, number nine, processed foods, okay? Processed and fast foods. The reason why they call them fast foods is because you'll notice that they don't, don't take very long to make. And you'll notice that if you want to make real food, it takes a while to make it. Processed or fast food has had all of the fiber, the minerals, the vitamins removed from it. This is what makes it very easy to cook, along with all of the chem chemical soup that they add to the food. And let me let me just say this. Red meat is probably one of the most highly processed foods there is. Red meat, when you think about the amount of hormones that they're injecting in the animals, okay? The amount of antibiotics they're putting in the animals. When you start to think about how they clean, clean the meat, like with chicken, for instance, they clean the meat with chlor chlorine, okay? The things that they feed pork, like ractopamine, okay? And then you got to understand, just put this in perspective for just a second. Anything that is killed or dies, its flesh will begin to turn another color, okay? This is why we have funerals as quick as we do. This is why they embalm, <laughs> you know, um, you know, during, uh, during the funeral process, okay? Because as flesh, as we die, flesh begins to die also. And there's no circulating blood, so that flesh begins to turn like a gray. Okay, you probably walked into the supermarket and saw that gray meat. Well, the reason why it's not gray is because they spray it with a chemical dye that is also very toxic as well, too. So processed foods, fast foods create a fast death and a fast brain deterioration. So it's hugely important that we know and understand that there's a lot of things that they're adding to processed food to make it fast food that we don't realize, like nitrates that you'll find with all processed meat, deli meat, turkey meat, turkey bacon, hot dogs, etc. you'll find nitrates. These nitrates are not only cancer causing, but they're damaging to the brain as well too. The dyes, the red number 40, the yellow number fives, these are the things that are causing our kids to have ADD, ADHD, to be hyperactive, okay? To even be violent as well too artificial covered uh, colors and flavors, and even preservatives. All of these things are contributing to the deterioration of our brain health and our overall health as well, too. So this is the list. <laughs> now you got to make a decision in terms of what you're going to do about your health, because here's the thing. If you just go along with what food is approved, and what drugs are approved to combat those foods that you've eaten, you're gonna become a customer, not just a patient, you're gonna become a customer of not only Big Pharma, but the healthcare system as well too. And so unless you're willing to make decisions that quite honestly are gonna be difficult because all of these things are also very addictive. Alcohol is addictive, fried foods are addictive, sodas are addictive. Sugar is definitely addictive, okay? So you literally have to go through a detoxification program the same way somebody would be addicted to an illicit drug to get off of these foods. It's literally that difficult, which is why I detox every three to four months. And you guys know about my detox on my website. I'm doing that constantly because there's decades of poor behavior, poor nutrition, that I'm still getting out of my body even to this day, okay? So if you wanna keep your brain health, if you wanna raise your IQ, if you want your children to keep their IQ, IQ levels high, if you wanna get your children off of ADD and ADHD medications, these are things that could be pivotal to you reclaiming your health, okay? And as always, this is not medical advice. This is simply me informing you about the environment that we live in today. Now, if you have specific questions, always follow up with your, your physician or your primary care doctor. 
But what's important to know, all the things that I've listed, most of them are banned in other countries. They're banned in other countries, only here <laughs> in the U.S., where it's all good. All right. So I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you have not hit that subscribe button, hit that subscribe button now. Share this so we can get this information out to the community so more people can be informed about the, the decisions they're making around their food. All right. And until the next time, peace and blessings and Godspeed.